Hey guys, good morning and uh, and welcome. It's 5.45 in the morning. I was expecting the sun to be up by now, but it looks like we got a little while to wait. I got a lot of work to do, guys. We need to get some fields planted. You know what? Here, where's my flashlight? There it is. Perfect. So we've got some fields to plant up, up in this neck of the woods. Let me just lock the trailer up here. Um, I've got some stuff I need to show you. We got a lot of planting to do. We got some new buildings I've built that you guys might want to see. And we've got oh, we got some stuff to plant uh, for our winter crops, guys. We've got winter crops to plant. Winter crops! Oh, yes. That should be good. Should be good. I think we're good to go on this. I really hope we're good to go. So, you know what? Um, I know it's kind of key to get into the field first thing in the morning, but uh, we'll talk more about that in a sec. Let me go get a coffee. We'll jump in the Chev. Head to town, grab a quick coffee. By the time we get back, I think the sun should be up. You can see it. Look over those hills. You can see the sun coming up off to the west there. East? East. Off to the east. Yeah. East. East. Up. West. Down. Got it. Right? Yeah. That doesn't make any sense. Anyways, let me jump in the chef. We're gonna get some, get some, uh, we'll go get some coffee. And uh, by the time it gets back, guys, we should be able to get to work. All right. Let's do this thing. Pitter patter. All right, guys. Eight o'clock. Finally, um, I just really wanted to stop by while I was out grabbing my coffee. I needed to drop by the, uh, the tractor supply here. And find out what the prices were on their seed and fertilizer since what well, we're going to be planting. And I'm going to need to make some errands up here. Uh, they got seed in the back. It seems like it's an okay rate. Uh, it's something I may consider buying from here instead. Uh, what was the co-op we always go usually go to? So that might be an option. They do have it up here. And you know what? It's, it's a little bit farther of a trek. But not by much in the grand scheme of things. Um, I mean, we do just have to kind of scoot through the valley. And then we're back on the back side of the county over here. So, I mean, it's definitely a bit of a run, but uh, it may be an option for us. So, as for today, guys, like I said, we are dealing with planting. We're going to put some fall some fall, fall crops in, winter crops. Winter crops. That's the word I'm looking for, winter crops. We're going to be putting some winter crops down today. Uh, I think, I'm thinking, we may be able to get away with canola as a winter crop. That seems a little bit weird. That's not something typically I can, I've usually done as a winter. It's usually like a wheat or a barley that I've gone to, or maybe even an oat. But it looks... It looks like, and from what I've been told, Georgetown can handle canola as a winter crop. So I would like to do that. That might be uh, something beneficial for us. But we do have three rather large fields that uh, I'm going to need to, to get into, guys. It, they're, they're pretty big. In the grand scheme of things, I think each one of them is bigger than, well, the smallest, all, the, all our biggest fields we had back at the, uh, the cattle barn area. So I think that this one's going to take a little bit of work now as well. I've ran into a slight issue. Well, two of those fields, guys, two of the fields, they've been they've been pretty much compacted. I need to I need to get in there. I need to till them up. We need to plow the snot out of them. We need to open them up so that uh, they're going to be healthy again. Yeah, it's not looking good for that. Unfortunately, I'm kind of I'm kind of stuck. I need to get in there and I need to till those things up and just break the soil up a little bit. It's not looking fantastic. They're pretty uh, pretty packed down. So that's something I need to take care of today. Now, I mean, it is early in the morning. We should have time to get through all those fields, I'm thinking. Oh, look at that sunshine coming up over the hills. Um, but of course, that also means I... Ooh, watch yourself. I was a little bit too sharp. A little bit of potholes there. That was all, just potholes. Um, we needed to buy some new equipment. We didn't have a plow. Whoa, man, this thing's grabbing. Uh, we didn't have any plows. We needed to pick up a plow in order to get into those fields. We didn't have anything yet, and I needed to go make a purchase. So you'll notice our bank accounts dropped a little bit. Now we, we bought a plow, and well, we bought some uh, or built some buildings relatively cheaply. To be perfectly honest, I used what we had at the farm, which we're just coming up on now. You saw nothing. Man, I still need to get the... Uh, the car dealership up and running guys maybe this winter this winter we'll look at what we can do with that but i mean we were set and ready to go with it and well you know what happened anyways uh so the farm itself well it's slowly coming together now we had a bunch of old metal and stuff around the farm i was able to uh slack together and and uh, put together something and plus we we built another thing let me just show you here so oh there's the first structure was on our left this is the first one we put up let me just shut this off quickly right here this little shed guys this one here well I mean, it, it's in pretty rough shape. I mean, we just had uh, just some metal roofing was sitting around, slap that down on these struts, and it was done. Didn't cost me a thing, uh, but it's not exactly anything. We're going to 
hold our vehicles under for too long. It just keeps the weather off them for the most part. So that's that. And um, you know what? It's a little small too. Like I can't really fit much in here. These, I can go in this way a little bit easier, but even trying to fit the tractors in this way, it's a tight fit. Like, look at that. There's no room even for the Stara. Look at the one with the duels on it. Like there's just enough room for me to fit it in there. So that there is our shed guys. One small little shed. Beside that, I, I put up a Quonset and this really cost us, it cost us 10 grand. So I just, I needed to have this. So in most of it, actually, the, the Quonset was cheap. It's the, the actual, the, uh, the concrete pad that costs us so much. So we had to put down a concrete pad. I've got the John Deere sitting in there right now. The, the combine sitting in there. We've got all our toolboxes that were sitting in storage. They're all ready to go. So we've got something we can work on now. And it allows us to work on our equipment, which is nice. I still do not have a pressure washer, which is why this combine looks like garbage. But we do have at least a shop now, and I have a place where I can work on equipment, which is nice. Yeah, that's all, that's all right. And before here, I add them, throw down some dirt as well, just to flatten this out. Just as a spot where, I don't know, if we use this as parking, we may use this as buildings later on. But, I mean, having a little bit of extra flat space that's not in grass um, was just going to be beneficial right now, I think. So that's all we've gotten built so far. Pretty minor, guys. Pretty minor. With the Quonset, we've got a small shed that... It's going to do for now. I'm, I'm hoping this isn't going to be a permanent thing. We'll hopefully be able to knock this down and rebuild something proper. But you know what? It does the trick for now. So um, anyways, 806. 806. Okay. I want to get into these fields. And oh, well, we walked right up past this. I didn't even talk about this. The Lizard 6M. There's our plow. Our new plow we purchased. This is pretty much, well, the bee's knees, I guess. I, I think this is as good as it's going to get for us, really. We're not going to... We can't ask for anything better for a plow now. The uh, the ST Max, the Star, that's 180 horsepower. This requires around the 180 horsepower mark. Those hills are bloody steep. I mean, they're ridiculously steep. Ah, uh, man, I don't know how this is going to work out for me, but only one way to find out. Let's get into the uh, into the hills here. Let's plow these fields up. We got two to take care of right away here. Uh, hopefully, I can get these done in like a couple hours. Is what I'm really hoping on. They are big, big fields, mind you. I'm just going to get this. Where should I put this? That's right here. Sure. I'm not putting it in the shed. I don't want to risk the mirrors off. Because <laughs> that's probably something I would do. We'll jump in the, uh, the 180. Yeah, this is familiar. I've been spending a lot of time in this thing, it feels like, lately. Oh, man. Just when you think you're done with that, right? And we'll grab the Weba. Or the Lizard, I guess this one is. And head out into the field. So the first field we're going to take care of is... Well, this one we took off the oat off last time, guys. We're going to knock this away. And uh, see if we can get this back to normal. Let's open this bad boy on up. Drop her down and get to work. I'm not even not not even stopping for a second. There we go. Sweet. All right. You know what? I might. I'm gonna think. I'm gonna. You know what? Oh, I got an. I got a plan. Since this is such a steep hill, I'm gonna see if I can get up to the top of this. Now, if I go up this, uh, I guess this would be the west side of the field over on the left here. Okay. If we climb all the way to the top this way here. And then once we get to the top, we just zigzag the rest of the way down. It'll be a little bit quicker, I think, with a star. If I had a tractor that had some serious horsepower, guys, um, I wouldn't worry about it. I could just go around and just do circles, do headlands all the way around, basically. I think with what we've got, I think I'm going to have to. I mean, we're down to three miles an hour already. There's no way. Like the steep part that you're looking at, way up on that hillside over there on that far side. Guys, there's no way the star can handle that. I just think I'd be, I'll be, I'll just be struggling. <laughs> we'll be struggling ridiculously. Um, so this field here is the one we got to take care of to start with. That field right there also needs to be plowed. And then there's another field just... I think it's that one. There's there's three fields up in this up in this here area. I've got to do two of them. So this is one. We've got another one beside, I think. And then the other one does not need it. It looks like it's going to be okay. So I'll probably just throw uh, some seed into our cedar and get to work. Once I don't quit screwing this up. Yeah. Anyways. I just want to get up to the top, just checking this out anyways. We'll, we'll get all that on the way back. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Oh, yeah. It's big brain time, guys. Oh, it's big brain time. Ah, uh, look at this. And not only that, we get up to the top of this field, and you get to see the nice sunset coming up. All the fog burning off the valley. Ah, yeah, that's fantastic. Now, you know what, guys? Is also one of my one of the reasons I was up here, you know, taking a page out of my, uh, my buddy Quick Dick McDick here. Uh, you know what? you got to try to make sure that you're really visible first thing in the morning. Just so you know, let, let all the other farmers in the county know that you're out in the field already. It's first thing in the morning and you're busy working away before hopefully they even get out here. So you can, you can always give them a call and ask them what the heck they're doing. Why aren't they out here? You know, I guess not all of us get the chance to sleep in. And you know what? If you don't see them out there, 
Maybe you should give him a call. Let him know that you're out busy working in the field, right? Um, yeah. <laughs> this sounds like a good idea to me. I think it's the first time ever I've been up first thing in the morning plowing, to be perfectly honest. I shouldn't say anything. Yeah, that was definitely a big brain idea. Look at this. No struggles whatsoever. We're just kind of slowly going down the hill now. Uh, everything is coming up clutch today. Uh, I, I got a good feeling about today. I got a really good feeling about today. I think. Probably not. But uh, things are looking good. Look at this. We've got there's a good start here. Uh, I've only been in here for, what, 20 minutes or so? Just to get started. Everything is set up now. All I got to do, guys, is just zig myself. Zig myself? Um, phrasing. Is, is that a thing? Um, I just got to zig and zag down the hill here, and we should be should be good, I think. Shouldn't take us too much time, I don't think, either. In the grand scheme of things? Nah, they won't, they won't be bad. So, um, yeah, this worked out really well. Okay, so I did try to go uphill with this, with this tractor. I tried to turn it around uh, on the far end just to see what would happen if I could spin it around and face uphill. It could do it. It, it could. I would have been able to pull that off. However, <laughs> yeah, there's a big but. There's definitely a big but. Um, trying to get any kind of speed, like above two miles an hour, I think we would have been, uh, I think we would have been really struggling, guys. This, I mean, okay, this is the uphill section right here. I'll slow down probably a little bit, maybe six miles an hour, I think I've seen, but usually I'm holding eight. I'm holding eight miles an hour, and uh, we're just kind of slowly tilling up some ground, and everything's working out the way it's supposed to. So this, this worked out. So after this, what do we got planned? Well, of course, we've got quite a bit to get down to in the bottom here. And then once we get over there, guys, I need to jump over to the next field. Uh, I'll have to figure out which exact field that is. But, uh, you know, we, I checked the sale of soil. We'll, we'll see it in a sec. It's kind of weird. We have to go into one field to get to the other. And, yeah, that that's just make sure I grab the right field, that's all, because I don't want to do extra work if I don't have to today. I got enough on my plate. Man, look at this. Like, it's like an hour, and we're pretty much, um, well, almost done at least. We're, we're pretty much getting there. Uh, yeah, I came down to the bottom, did a little bit down here, was zipped around because I wanted to make sure I needed to do a bit of a headland just so I could spin around a bit easier. But uh, things, well, they worked out pretty pretty good. I'm, I'm happy with this. Last little bit here. I got a little, like, a little triangle left to do. <laughs> All right, drop that back in, and away we go. Sweet, guys. All right, so you know what I'm thinking? Uh, I, got, I know, I'm thinking again. I'm, I'm thinking once again. I made a phone call to Gertie, and we're going to get her back. We got we love, gotta love Gertie. She needs the work, and she can, she's... You know what? She's good. She knows what she's doing. She hasn't wrecked anything in a long, long time. So I think I might get her to uh, work on plowing up this next field for me. And, guys, I may just jump in. Did I do that? How am I going to work that? Oh, I don't know if this is going to work, guys. I, I, can, I, can I get the cedar to work with the smaller... Stara? It was at this moment that he knew. Uh, maybe maybe it's not such a smart idea. We're going to see what happens. I'm, I, that little Stara we got down in the back shed there, guys. If we can get that to work with the with the cedar, that'll be good. Oh, I don't know if that's going to work. That's, that's going to be touch and go for sure. That being said, okay, first of all, I need seed. I got no seed. I got no fertilizer. I got nothing yet. So we do need to make some runs for that. So um, once Gertie gets here, she can just come up and I'll swap out and I'll go pick up some equipment. Actually, speaking of which, here's what I was talking about. This field here is good to go. I just checked the soil on it. It's good to be planted. This field here, this one is not so good. So we're going to be in here. We got to till this all up once again. Um, you know what? I have no idea how big this field is by comparison. I think that field we just did is bigger. But you know what? I have no idea. Let's, you know what? I'll take it for a ride. Let's go to the top. All right, just made our way to the top. Um, it's a little bit of slow going right now, but, uh, well, whatever. It's okay. You know, we're not quite at the top. I have, I have to admit, we're, well, we kind of are. <laughs> I don't know how you want me to describe this. We're on the one side. You know what? Are these woods up here part of us as well? I don't know how much we own up here. I think we might just own the fence line. Uh, I don't think we own past the fence line. I'd be curious. I need to go do some exploring. We need to get like a little four wheel or something like that. Maybe a side by side. Um, I feel like we are kind of out in the boonies here a little bit, guys. I mean, look at how far out we are. Oh, man. You know what? We used to be right beside Whammer's Farm, and right now we've just... We're, we're a long little ways out. We're definitely a little ways out. So uh, I'm going to finish off this little top piece, as you can see, as I'm slowly trucking away up here. And uh, we'll get Gertie to finish off the rest for us, I think. 
while she's working away on this field i got to run to town we got to get some seed we got to get some fertilizer i think we're going to go over to tractor supply first i need to make a phone call um maybe we'll do that maybe we won't but i think the prices might be just as good there i still look at the if you watch the lights i'm still having lights issues on this tractor is that battery the alternator oh man i don't know i don't know what's going on with it yeah she's flickering still yeah there's something going on with this thing we need to fix that at some point but anyways ah we'll see if we can get through this if it breaks down it's on gertie i can blame it on her right yeah all right guys so we do have a bit of an issue i do need to solve today and that is well what are we gonna do with how are we gonna get seed and fertilizer i don't really have any great way of transporting things um and you know what gertie's out there she's busy but uh i don't want to get a bunch of pallets pallets are such a pain but maybe they'd be easier than what i got planned so i'm gonna buy some stuff in bulk because it's number one is cheaper and well this this might be a bad idea we'll see i think i've got an idea how much i'm probably gonna need for these fields but i'm gonna get you know what i'm gonna fill this bin with seed and seed and fertilizer hopefully and then uh we'll just tarp it that's my plan it, i'm hoping for good weather guys i'm really hoping for good weather anyways let's rock and roll um, we're gonna head up to uh where are we gonna go oh yeah we're gonna, that's right yeah the tractor supply tractor supply let's go see if we can get some seed from them first uh i think they've got a better price guys we're, we're taking the back road we're gonna get a little off road action into us you ready back roads it is over the tracks onto the dirt roads oh hold on tight oh bad <laughs> oh yes i hope this little grain trailer is uh i hope the bearings are good on it oh look at the rollers oh look at the rollers yes oh yeah there it is right there all right hammer down hammer down let's go 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 oh <laughs> that was deeper than i was expecting uh yeah that was way deeper than i thought it was gonna be oh guys i'm telling you best driver in farm sim oh yes oh here comes the train all right so uh tractor supply is just down here on our left and uh yeah we'll see what we get for prices here i think it should be uh this should be a good place i'm gonna make that trip one more time though i gotta come back out here to grab fertilizer as well that's um that's an interesting trek i don't mind that that's fun all right there we go bulk seed is going in we'll see what this runs us um i, I think this is gonna be way too much seed yeah 10 grand worth of seed um we'll see how much this runs us when we uh come back for fertilizer guys and wes as to where i plan on uh putting this right here guys like i said I don't have a better solution right now. Uh, I think this is going to have to do. Just put it down along the Quonset here, and uh, we'll see if I can make a pile for it. I think that'll work. Uh, well, like I said, we'll tarp it when we're not using it. But uh, yeah, I, I don't have a better spot to put the seed right now, guys. So seed and fertilizer, I'm going to try to make a little bit of a pile right here. Oh, get it all. Come on out. Come on. You just got to shake it a bit, a little bit to get it all out of there. And once you get it all out, we should be good to go. That should be enough seed. It should last us quite a while, I think. I, ho I really do hope so. 10 grand worth of seed there on the ground. Uh, it doesn't look like it, does it? <laughs> it really doesn't look like it. Okay, one more run. Let's go get some fertilizer. And there goes the fertilizer. Oh, that stings. Yep, that does sting. Another 13 grand. All right. <laughs> All right, so 23 grand, a little more than that, actually, uh, is what we spent, guys. Now, you'll also notice, well, we spent a little bit more money on, well, something else. I... I've been I had to spend some more money guys I know I really kind of wasn't planning on it but at the same token we may be able to make some money back on this we'll see how this works out um I've got something being delivered I got something being delivered to the shop you guys are gonna want to see this I, I I've got my reasons and yeah you I think you guys will agree with me on this one all right guys so I had him drop off the new toy over by the fuel station he said he'd drop it off there um so the problem is we're dropping all this seed on the ground i don't really have a way of picking it up do i not yet at least but there is a way right ahead of us oh you can't see it right there right there yeah right about here look at this uh new massey ferguson guys now i purchased this i made a bit of a splurge it cost me a little less than 50 grand as is it's not brand new but pretty darn close uh yeah look at that just just a little gaffer but uh what is the 4708 is a model in this so it's 100 horsepower that we got on this thing so it's very comparable very comparable to well the stara the small stara we got should i replace that stara and just keep this i don't know yet this may be an option for us 
unfortunately we can't i was gonna use the stara guys i was trying to find a way to to mount a front loader on this on that stara but there was no way we could do it so this gives me the option now to well all the seed we're dumping this fertilizer we're dumping i can use this to fill otherwise i'm taking a shovel by hand and trying to load uh, come on who does that uh, yeah so i may end up using this to replace we may put that uh that star up on the on the auction block guys and get rid of that thing and we'll just stay with the Massey. Um, I like the open cab. That This might be more efficient, too, in the grand scheme of things. Uh, let me go dump this, this fertilizer out. Then we'll come pick up the Massey, all right? A few moments later. All right, guys. We've uh, got everything back up. I've got the Stara hooked up to our cedar. And I think, guys, we're ready to go. Let's fire up the new Massey. Oh, she sounds so good. This is such a great track. Guys, I love open cab tractors. Absolutely love them. Look at this thing. Not bad. Let's go. <laughs> All right. All right, guys. 4708. Not bad. So, 100 horsepower. I don't know if this tractor or even that little, uh, the little star we have is going to be enough to pull the the planter or that cedar, guys. I really don't. Um, it's going to be hit and miss right now. I mean, we're struggling as is. The one thing that uh, that the Stara has on this Massey is the fact that it's got duels on the rear. We got duels on the rear of that. That is going to make a bit of a difference in this planting process. So we've got canola seed ready to go. We got canola seed. The red seed over there is the canola, and we've got fertilizer. That, that's really what we're doing. Um, let's see if we can dump this in and how that's all going to work out for us. But I mean, without a proper silo or anything, we can put this in. Uh, this was probably our only real bet for now, isn't it? Perfect. All right. Uh, you know what? If I go around the back of this, I bet you that'll be the easiest way for me to load this thing up. Let's see if we can dump it right on in, shall we? Up we go. Nice and easy, like. Make sure we get this all kind of lined up, guys. And dump her in. Wow, that, that took... Is that all it took? No, it's got to take more than that. There we go. I was going to say, it's better take more than that. <laughs> there we go. Uh, all right, seed took one half of a bucket. It always surprises me how small the bins are on that. All right, let me uh, load this fertilizer up first. Uh, but before we dump in, of course, we need to switch the old uh, the tarps or the uh, the lids here. The fertilizer lids are dumped. Uh, they're closed, I should say, and the seed ones are so. Let's just switch this around. There we go. So the seed should be closed. Fertilizer is open. Let's dump this in. There we go. You just got to find the right area there just to make sure she's lined up. There we go, guys. Fertilizer, seed, everything is good to go. Um, is it full with fertilizer? It looked like we dumped more fertilizer than seed. You know what? We'll load this back up. Uh, we're going to need to come back and probably do a couple runs here, I think. I don't think we'll be able to fill it up in one. I don't think we'll get through the whole field in one, so that's fine. All right. We'll leave the Massey right here. I don't know, guys. What do you think? That's a pretty cool tractor, isn't it? Ah, that thing is sweet. All right. This is the question. Can the Stara handle this? Oh, man. She's, a, she's just little. She is just little. More big brain time, guys. We're going right up the top once again. Uh, we're going to do this the same way we did the plowing, just to see if we can save ourselves having to climb this hill. I can see Gertie's still busy in the field. She's plowing away. Look at that. She's almost done. You know what? She's probably two-thirds of the way done, a little bit more even. Good job, Gertie. Keep it up. Keep it up. All right. Oh, man. <laughs> please little stara i hope you can handle this i hope i'm not pushing you too hard oh man yeah it's it's, it's gonna be okay guys i think it's oh, i don't know if it's gonna be okay i really don't so this is 105 horsepower i believe meanwhile the mass is only 100 if this doesn't work i am still needing to change up and go get that big star the 180 horsepower that gertie's got right now the 180 series um if it doesn't work then i'm i'm still screwed so i don't know what to do if this doesn't work the Massey's not going to work. Uh, yeah. It, I don't know. Anyways, let's just... Fingers crossed, because we're about to fire this up. All right. If I remember how this one runs, let's take a look back. Drop our head down. All right. Turn the cedar on. And away we go. All right, guys. It, it's looking promising. I, I think we're okay. Oh, I think we're okay. Nice. Oh, good, 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 good. I was really worried this wasn't going to work. I was really worried that I sewered myself. But you know what? I think we're going to be okay. And in fact, I bet you I could probably get away with the Massey too. 
that might give us uh, if we need to make an extra you know what maybe 50 grand 60 grand um i could go and sell the stara here and then we could make a little bit extra cash that way that might be an option oh we could get rid of the star but you know what i kind of like this one better than the 180 to be honest with you this one's nicer <laughs> i like the uh the interior of this one's so much better even though it's smaller and not quite as useful but um i just like this one better <laughs> what can i say well guys that's uh, about half of the field done on one load not too bad uh gertie's already finished up she's wrapped up the plowing on the uh that other that other field so she's all done she's headed out for the day and it's just me here now i've got three whole fields left to uh to take care of guys yeah um plus i've got to finish off the one i'm doing i've got about half that done now it's gonna be a little bit of work we're gonna be out here pretty much all day by the looks of things and taking care of this it's gonna take us uh it's gonna take some sweet work to get this done guys but you know what they say guys it's uh it's a tough job kicking rocks and pulling teeth but it sure as heck beats beating up dudes with treasure trails <laughs> let's get this back in there so that will do it for today guys i'm gonna be out here planting for the foreseeable future at least uh we'll see how this all turns out we're gonna have canola in all these fields it's gonna be good i'm hoping we get a good profit for the come the summertime anyways i hope you guys enjoyed oh don't want to roll that with that roll cage down hope you guys enjoyed the video today if you did you guys know what to do slap that like don't forget to subscribe as always and thanks again for watching folks have a great day and i'll catch you next time back to the stara here we go this is clutch over and out. Yeah.